I went through such... It was the quickest range of emotions I've ever felt towards an anime character. Literally, I saw Dio on screen. First time, I'm like, oh no, he's hot. And then like, you know, he was like beating someone in chess. And I was like, oh my god, he's so cool. And then suddenly he went to the Jojo house. And then I was like, wait, he's an asshole. Wait, what the, what the, what is wrong with him? Wait, he's not hot anymore. And then he did the thing, that spoiler thing that I was like, okay, you are a terrible man. Anyway, and then they fought and I'm like, wait, so what? He's what? Okay, spoilers for anyone who hasn't watched. But I'm like, wait, so he's dead? But what? He's a, wait, but then now they're best friends. But then what? Now he's dead. And what? And now he's a vampire. Oh, wait, he's not dead. But damn, he's still hot. <laughs> I'm so confused. Also, I can't get over the size of Jojo's thighs. They're literally the biggest part of his body and it's kind of hilarious. And literally, neck is like a tree trunk. Everybody is so thick. Who's my favorite character? My favorite character so far? Speed Wagon! <laughs> I love Speed Wagon. I mean, I'm only five episodes in, but the reason why I love Speed Wagon is because I don't know where he came from. Literally, after the second episode, he just randomly started, was integrated into the main character storyline. I was so confused. I was like, who are you? Where did you come from? Didn't you try to kill him? What? <laughs> oh, best character, Speedwagon. Yeah, I gotta love Speedwagon.